Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember the bitch died. You remember uh, in the song, the song wasn't about nobody dying. Remember that? I thought it was. I thought you'd be with me forever. Yeah. But I guess someone took my place at the place. You want to talk about the Lord. The Lord don't hold and make love to her all through the night. I, so oh. I'm so disappointed in Aaron Hall in that video. Because I'm like, man, he really sad because she died. You all remember that video? I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, she laying on the floor on a beautiful marble floor yeah. dying. But he's singing about So I'm thinking, did he kill this bitch? <laughs> did he kill her? Because she, because somebody took the, the place of somebody holding her through the night. But what I wanted to say went to was the Bobby Brown versus R. Kelly, not them two individuals, but their albums. Twelve play versus Don't Be Cruel, and I, I was so shocked at the <laughs> at the fucking. <laughs> listen, I hate to think one way and the whole world go against me, and that's what the fuck <laughs> happened. Because I was looking at the Don't Be Cruel. It, it came out in like 88, maybe, 88, 89. And all I could think about summertime, walking around, it's all the fuck we heard was my yeah. prerogative, I want to rock with you, mm-hmm. Rony, and don't be cruel. Uh-huh. Girl, you need to change your attitude. Yeah, don't that. be, don't Y'all be, so baby. Don't, don't, Leave don't. Alone. Don't be cruel. <laughs> That's right. Don't be so cruel. That's what you were doing. Because I would never I was be born that cruel to you. That she was born in 89. Really. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that shit. This, the album was so fucking hard, and 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 today, to this day, that fucking Ronnie is incredible. That shit right there, man. You the type of tender Ronnie. What the hell, go? Come on, Bo. I can't remember. You He's fucking. You're born eighty nine too, nigga. About the sweetest Who? little girl, girl in, in the, the whole wide, wide world. world. She make the toughest yeah, homeboy boy, fall boy. deep yeah. in love. I feel like I'm never give up. My mind is telling me no. Then that shit came. Then that shit came. Then that shit came. And you know what? Everybody was saying R. Kelly had the shit. And I went, look. I see you got that body. Your body's calling me. He had that sex me, baby. Baby, sex. Yeah. Sex me, me baby. baby. That shit. You remind me of. Was that on there? Well, you no. you you, you passed your prime. I'm sorry. You gonna have a, what they say on Facebook? Have that several seats. CD. Have several seats. Shut up. You, you, you like two CDs. Will you Meet shut up? Her, his, you, you, him. You like they, three CDs and six they, remixes later. <laughs> but no, like that fucking twelve play. When I got to thinking about, it, they had that summer bunnies. That um. The twelve play, yeah, one. Play. I had no. Business. And I and then you know what? It's all based on opinion, but I lost. <laughs> I lost because every listen, Everybody I was the me. only, and I, you know I had no courage. I just posted it. I didn't say, "Don't be cruel for me," because everybody said twelve play, twelve play, twelve yeah, play, twelve play, did. and I said, "You know what? I'm just being here trying to look like I'm trying to be different." But you, you didn't, you didn't make them explain it. Hell no, you can't explain your taste. I mean, the people I, who like, did explain it said because. They all said that it was a tough competition, that the Bobby Brown album was a classic, mm-hmm. but R. Kelly was talking about putting his fingers in bitches. He was talking <laughs> about fucking. It's a whole different, that's the that's, that's the, that's the, the line right there, because we saw Bobby Brown as the renegade bad boy out of New Edition. He don't want to come to practice. Right. He, uh, fuck you, Ralph. He was your sensitivity ass. So he ain't want to fuck with them. But R. Kelly took it to a whole nother level of... Like, he was the first person probably talking about freaky. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we wasn't, when we was kids, he the person who made me probably want to go get some pussy. Like, <laughs> like a reason, like a valid reason. Like, when my dick used to get hard, I didn't know it was getting hard for. But after listening to R. Kelly, I knew I had a purpose in this world for this hard dick. <laughs> no. No. I didn't say after watching, after <laughs> seeing. After listening. He said, some, go get some pussy type shit. <laughs> and he was, and me and was fucking the same age. We was trying to hit the same age. I so, was going to older. Who? Me? Yeah, I probably had yeah, about a couple, a couple grades. A couple <laughs> grades. But it's, it's um, without without argument, they both classics. Yeah. And I'm, I'm so sad that my song shits right here don't got shit to say in this situation. You know what song shits Candy, she can't do a good backup shit. Right, Me and her in the backup right. of the song. We on I was fucking up singing wrong CDs and shit, so I shut up. Oh, okay. Nah, My bad. Go home, Katie. Go home, Katie. You're drunk. You sound like pressure <laughs> on that movie. What's she doing? Her mama, her mama, she said, uh, my mama told me to shut my black ass up. Well, what did you do, Precious? I shut my <laughs> <laughs> Hey, or, or, or get fingered. Right. Yeah. Or let her have her weight with you. <laughs> Shit. Right. You learn to shut up quick after that. But 
it's, it's no doubt that both was classics. Yeah. And it's no doubt that R. Kelly's classic was classicer. 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 So when we when New we did and, and just see if it's unanimous, don't be cruel or twelve play for you, Candy. That's fucked up. You had to do that. Um, I got to go with 12 Play because I, like, memorize 12 Play. Like, I listen to that shit over and over and over. And I ain't had no business. I was too young to be listening to that shit. But anyway, I'll go with 12 Play. What do you say, Bob? I had to say 12 Play, too. But my mind is because if, if Don't Be Cruel came out in 88, 89, and I, I wasn't really on... Yeah. No pussy like that. Whereas if twelve play came out a little bit later. That's some teenager. That's when your no. T- you was about ten, so you was on you was on pussy then. I was. Yeah, right. I'll probably, <laughs> probably get to the stage where I yeah. know a little bit more, but I'm gonna say twelve play. When the f- Sorry, you ain't know twelve play for me. I'm originally from Chicago, so of course I'm gonna go with R. Kelly, no matter team. what. Yeah. Got my homie Corey in here, man. I'm letting you uh, chime in. You want to talk to the mic? <laughs> oh, no. I cut a list. Call it again. Oh, oh. oh. See, you can't be that cool. Nah, nah. <laughs> hey, you know what? I like "Don't Be Cruel" at first. I'm not a flip floppy type nigga, but I do reserve the right to change my mom. <laughs> Cause I was riding when I was at work. I was listening to both of them, and I was like, you know what? This still and it's still some good music, but. When my buddy, shout out to Juwan, he mentioned that R. Kelly had wrote the whole fucking album, yeah. except Sadie. And it's something different when you write, arrange, and produce. That shit's different. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a whole different animal. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it something real quick. That's why I come my Ray Prince, like, mountains above, right. damn near every, every, not just Mike, but every artist. The only artist... In R and B soul history that I can compare, talent wise to Prince is Stevie Wonder. Mm. They probably got if you if you ever just sitting around and you got time, go listen to some Stevie Wonder his shit. He he probably had like four straight classics. Oh, and started with the song in Key of Life. That shit right there. Mm. That shit's a fucking classic. That shit. Um, then we, huh? Um, it's an album. album. Oh my god! But that's the one where. Um, what the fuck is the main shit on that muff? That's what she is. Isn't she lovely on there oh, and all that okay. shit? Oh, yeah. Is Ripping on the Sky on that one? Which one? Ripping on the Sky. No, they ain't on there. You know what? I don't even know. It's either on that. It, it might not be. be. It might not be. It might not be, but Stevie Wonder. But you, like, but the, I, the choices you picked was. That's a tough one, though. Which one? What you mean? With R. Kelly. I mean, it's not like you, you can go like wrong. No. Nah. But see, that's the thing. I be hating. I be hating. <laughs> you can't name three. I be sure songs some up people, in this motherfucker, can some, you? Some people do that. They'll put together a, a group of which one got to go. Yeah. And it'd be a like, dumb one. You'd be like, why would you be like, on there. It'd be like, it'd be like Roseanne, Beyonce, Rihanna, <laughs> and Neil Long. Oh, that's that a that tough one. Tough one which which <laughs> Roseanne, the fat one or the real fat one? Like, well, I'm going to ask y'all. I, I posted one this week. Um, Hold on, man. Real quick. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because like, like, we still caught on this music shit. Nah, and I know you about to say it went into the movie. But... Just a, you a music person, okay? And you you've never sat around and just listened to Prince, have you? Not really. I heard his songs Damn. growing up, but it's incredible. Ain't it? I don't, yeah, you ain't when me, I heard when I heard when me, I hear his songs, it don't make me want to listen more. It's okay. just like who's this gay looking motherfucker? All right, when yeah. I hear him. hold on, hey. hold on. Let me do this for y'all real quick. <laughs> let me do this. Let me let me do this for y'all real quick. Even hearing his shit, it's I'm gonna like, tell you about this girl I used to know named Nikki. Oh God, I knew a girl named Nikki. You can say she was a sex fiend. <laughs> I met her in a hotel lobby. Masturbating the magazine. <laughs> she said, how would you like to waste some time? And I could not resist when I saw oh, little Nikki cry. Ba-ba-da. This is Whatever, some classic Billy shit. Jean. Billie Jean ain't got shit on this. Billie Jean was a whore. Yeah, like she took me to her I mean, castle. I'm not I his could talent. not I feel like he got believe talent, but if my I... eyes. Have to choose listening to his music. That's not something that I would want to listen like a door. To. Huh? You like a door. I don't know what that is. Hold on, hold on, because you know what? I mean, I heard that song. I like it when I hear it, but it ain't a, something that I. A door really probably, like a door probably to. legit. My favorite. Pr- I heard that purple yeah. rain. That was okay. Yeah. No, it ain't. A door. What's the? 
<laughs> What's Doomy Baby, Candy? I don't think you just heard the Prince. I don't think I you never heard his song. That's like Doomy Baby. I didn't know that was. Like, like honestly, like I said, like I didn't know who I was listening to. In this big old empty yeah. room. And Chris okay. Tucker at the beginning when he was directing. Stand the each Russian other movie. down. But yeah, okay. that shit adore. But this this the Prince song adore. This probably like yeah, one of the know. best fucking. <laughs> I be wishing I could sing when I heard this shit. I be wishing I could sing. Like hit that. Oh yeah. This shit. Maybe not the ride. Oh, yeah. the, the end part. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's that shit. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let that motherfucker run over your foot again. Let that motherfucker. Run. But a door. But my favorite Prince song ever is probably Under the Cherry Moon. That's that shit. Yeah. I'm because it's the fucking lyrics. It's like uh. How can I stand? It's just like I don't want to sing it because they're gonna be laughing and talking about behind. It's like how can I stand to stay? How can I stand to stay where I am? Imagine Prince though. Poor butterfly. Oh fuck it. Poor unicorn. (laughs) No, y'all can't make that. Poor butterfly. Who (laughs) don't understand? You like I want to fly away to a better sky. The shit is so fucking. The shit is so. When does cry? And when does cry is fucking incredible. That shit's incredible. I mean, nothing. It's cold as fuck, especially with with the big girl on there. Yeah. But Prince has a, and these just the songs is just popular. But if you go to uh, that that shit uh, that musicology that called my name, that Ah, was that shit so fucking incredible, man. I'm a fan of entertainers that like dance and sing. Like that's why I love Michael Jackson. I don't like I ain't like Prince for dancing. He he did this shit. He he grabbed the microphone. Do this. Uh, Kick it down. Yeah, yeah. Prince, Prince, he he was more. He really couldn't move in them heels. He he, he moved good enough. He moved good enough. He was but a pimp. This shit right here though. Yes. Call my name. He my backup singer. Okay, I like that song. Boom, 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 boom. This shit right here. I'm not like him, but it doesn't like. If I got other people, Michael Jackson over here. That's that's where a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know. The voice this morning. They don't know that he like people for other people. Calling out my name. I can see that. Tremel. Oh, the side, no, I say, that might be the longest pullover ever in the history of getting yeah, pulled over. It ain't real if you don't shoot it. Unless you get shot. You do not side note when I'm singing Prince. You don't. You do not side note when I'm singing Prince. What is the fuck the matter with you? You been hating on Mary. You, you just hate me because I'm young, flashy, and fly. I always wanted to say that. You just hate me because I'm young, flashy, and fly. And, and my goatee cool. But listen, that was our shit. We had the R. Kelly. Versus uh, Bobby Brown, 12 play versus Don't Be Cruel. And uh, Bobby Brown, you gave up a good fight. But just like Whitney, you lost. Uh, moving on. Oh, what? What's yours? Because I feel like it's easy and simple. 112 or Jagged Edge? And I was thinking about this shit. I think Jagged Edge had more better albums. 112 had that one good album and shit with the Cupid on there. The <laughs> white. I'm not, well, it's one, one great. I'm gonna say one great because that's a great album to me. Yeah, that it Cupid, is. that White does, and that what was a single that came with the the fast shit? Anywhere, oh, yeah. anywhere, hell yeah. And yeah, that was, was that? the next oh, one. I think only oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 on that second. That was the first one. No, that was the first, first one. one. Yeah, I think it was on that second. They had a hit. Yeah, yeah. Peaches and Cream. Peaches and no, it was that, that shit was down there. Anywhere. Anywhere was on the second. Anywhere was the second. And about it's over now. Those those were the hits on the second one. But Jagged Edge, they had some shit. Yeah, I, I he can't, can't love you. Uh, yeah, they let's them. get married. Walked uh, out of heaven. Stared the camera in, stare, stared the camera intently as you take your album cover pictures on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best song. Did they but, sing "Meet Me at the Altar"? Yep. Yeah. Let's get let's get married. Let's get married. Uh, you, may, you may have remixed it. <laughs> <laughs> you may have remixed you know, it. Y'all niggas, we, we don't know the name of the song, so right. they yeah. uh, Ain't that with white dress? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had an all white. They said, "Hey, they said, Yeah. That one was hard. Tremella, what you think the best? See, last, see, I can't let you play us like you did last week, where you said seven words and chilled the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> um, jacket edge. And one, and one of your fans said they missed you last week on the uh, show. I said she was there. I said she was there. Oh wow! I ain't bullshitting, but oh, but man. I'm just pulling up. They had. I probably was daydreaming. 
And you know what's cool about the air, the air that we mentioned? It was because we were talking.